Hey guys, a quick tip this morning, uh, and I wanted to go ahead and talk about wholesaling condominiums. And there's a question that came up, can you wholesale a condominium? Absolutely you can. You just have to make sure the spread is there. Uh, number one, you don't want an outrageous association fee. You know, four and five and six hundred dollar association fee is, I, you know, it's, it's, for me, it's ridiculous. Um, number one. Number two, you want to make sure that that complex is primarily owner occupied. Because if it's not, uh, you may run into some issues with um, lenders that are looking to lend. Uh, some of them, many of them will shun away and shy away from a complex that is primarily renters. Um, number three, you want to make sure that if you're moving on a, a on a condo, you want to make sure that you don't have to buy it owner-occupied. In other words, you want to make sure that as an investor, uh, you're able to go ahead, buy the buy the deal, fix up the property, turn around and resell it to an owner occupant. You just got to know some things up front. And so let's let's go through a scenario. Let's say, for instance, you come across a three bedroom, two bath condo complex for a hundred grand. Association fee is two fifty. That's pretty standard. Um, but you come across an owner that is struggling. They've just lost their job and they're a couple of months behind on their association fees. Uh, so they're motivated. You also find out that those condo complexes, they're worth a hundred, but this particular one, there's a loan on it of $35,000. Mm. Very good scenario. So the owner will sell you his or her condo for 40 grand. Let's also assume that they are behind, let's say they're behind $2,200 uh, in payments and penalties and fees and that type of thing. Um, that's just, just, just a number that I pulled out of thin air. So 40,000 plus $2,200 would be $42,000 total. Now remember, that particular condo was worth 100 So you have enough of a spread there where you can wholesale that deal to an investor or to a potential cash buyer. Condos can be very attractive, but you just have to know some things up front. Be careful that you don't get stuck in the condo either or get stuck in that deal, especially if you're wholesaling to an end investor. You want to make sure you do some homework first because chances are um, if you're wholesaling to an investor, you want to make sure that you continue to keep that relationship going. You want to find out some things about that, that condo complex. You want to make sure that, you know, they're not, that particular condo is in an association that actually handles their business. You know what I mean? They, they do the upkeep on the property. They don't let the grass um, go yellow or anything like that. And they take care of their maintenance. Uh, they paint the property, that type of thing. I mean, they're collecting association fee for a reason. You know, you know, you just got to make sure that the association is on the up and up and you'll be fine. It's where the thing you have to look out for is condo complexes that are consistently increasing their association fee because there's a lot of people who have kind of either slowed down or stopped paying their association fee within that condo complex. That's a huge red flag and associations in certain complexes will secretly increase fees because there's other people within that complex that have stopped paying. That's a trap getting ready to happen. Be careful of that. So just do your homework, do your due diligence, and you'll be fine. This is Gerald.